guys welcome back to my channel in today's vlog i'm gonna be highlighting some of the not so glamorous parts about ghana i know that there are people watching my channel who want to either move or in the process of moving and i think it's important to know what you're getting into i mean everywhere has its pros and cons but it's up to you to decide what you're willing to deal with i personally love it here and believe things will get better over time slowly but surely hopefully we'll see you know you know right is it on YouTube? We did a trade off, so we're in Issa's car right now because Rush is getting his car fixed. The wheels. How do you feel? <laughs> it feels really low. I'm not too bad, right? That's alright. I'm used to this car because Issa takes me on errands or like take me my girls out or whatever so this is regular for me Ride to uh, uh, what do you call it? Shark Island. Shark, Mr. Shark is a Marvin, is a friend of mine. We come to see him from time to time, see where he's up to, what life, and updates on his project. <laughs> Hey, hey, we out here shooting a music video, you know. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. We got some. When, when, is, when is the album dropping? This yeah. April. Yeah, this April. Okay. Hey, and the, and the, and the cool part is, all the money we're making, we're donating, okay? Love that. We're rapping, we're rapping, we're, rapping, we're singing for free. That's what's up. We're rapping and singing to the community. We, yeah, we impacting our brothers' lives, getting our brothers and sisters on the continent. Playing our part, right? Exactly. These are things that you you can expect to happen, but you cannot let them frustrate you so you walk away. Exactly. Because what they want is for me to walk away from this project because you've and now they come in. You've created something so massive, and so you've basically added a lot of value to this place. And you are close to. I mean, you just brought in the jet cars. It's in there, right? You guys seen it? That's how we started this video. Yeah. Right, and you could see that. You can see that. Wow. You you could see what this could be. Yeah. Maybe a year from now. And it's like, people are jealous, which is very normal here. Yeah. You know, people do stupid stuff out of jealousy, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you do that. <laughs> you do that. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, what's the plan? What are we about to do? Okay. Esther, you want to say hello? 
Hello. This is Esther. She's gonna start a YouTube channel soon and share her very interesting life that we all wanna see. Right, Esther? once a week now like it's getting a little annoying like just just a tad bit annoying so over there like all the way back there they have light but in this area we don't we currently have light because we're running on the solar battery um not even sure what the percentage is on right now because i was using the big ac all day so i'm kind of scared to even look but yeah, the light has been going off like at least once a week for a few hours. Like it'll be during the day or at night. Hopefully it comes back on soon because I get um I get nervous relying on the solar battery because I don't know how long that's gonna last for. Okay, the light is back. This big tall light right there. Oh, you can't even see it. Well, that's the one that I use to determine whether there's a light off or not. But that wasn't too bad. I think that was like less than an hour. <laughs> I know I look crazy. I'm wearing a 10 inch curly bob from my luxury wig collection. And I was going for the wet look. And with curly hair, it tends to puff up really quickly. No matter like how much water you put in it, how much conditioner, how much you define it. And I really don't want it to puff up. I want it to be like curly and defined. Wearing the stocking cap just ensures that it's gonna dry down instead of like drying and proofing up. So I'm just gonna wet it a little more and shape it how I want it and then put the cap back on so that it dries, you know, like flat. Earlier I had already defined it with a brush, some water and conditioner. And so this is just a touch up really. And I also want to have the cap on because I'm about to do my makeup. I just want my hair out of the way for now. I really love natural makeup. Like that no makeup makeup look. That's, that is my go-to. So usually I just do my eyebrows, concealer, mascara, and lip gloss. I want to look like I put more effort in today. I forgot my primer. Wait, let me see if I have it actually. Put the body down. I'm just gonna wear it. Oh, I actually do have my primer. Perfect. And I'm using this primer. This primer is called the Grip Primer. Hydro Grip Primer. And it really, like, I don't know if you can see, but it really grips. Okay. With the skin tint, I just use my finger. It's really light. Like, you don't need a. Uh, you don't need a foundation brush or a blender, beauty blender, to get a nice finish. And I'm trying to avoid my eyebrows because they're already done. I don't know if you can tell, but my complexion looks a lot more even now. And I applied a little concealer just to brighten my under eye. Just to blend all of that in now. And like I said, I'm really going for a natural look, nothing crazy, so don't need to look. So the lash glue that I use is from Lily Lashes and it's a eye glue, eye glue, it's a eyeliner glue. 
So it looks like this. So you would put it on the same way you put on eyeliner. So I already have it on, as you can see. And I like it because it helps me place my lashes easier, but I feel like it's not strong enough to actually hold my lashes in place all night. So I still use a little regular lash glue on my lashes. Um, so really, I just, I just love it because it really helps with placing your lashes. So if you struggle with that, I highly recommend getting some lily really lash. And who knows, you might not actually need more lash glue. Or you might have more cooperating eyelids than me. So I'm just putting the lash glue on the lashes. And I don't wait for it to get super tacky. I don't wait for it to get super tacky before I put it on because I feel like that also makes me struggle. I like it when it's more on the wet side because I can move it easier. But everyone's different. Everyone has different techniques that work for them. Putting on lashes is not my thing, so I just do whatever works. My go-to is definitely mascara. I just put on lashes when I feel like I'm bored with my lashes and I want a different look. So these are the lashes. I don't even know the name. It's called Ruby Lashes, but I have a whole bunch of lashes that comes in these boxes that are all called Ruby Lashes. So I don't know the exact name. My vendor sends these to me when I order hair. I don't like using my high-end mascaras to blend in my lashes because I feel like that's a waste. Like I'll use it on my bottom lashes because you're actually gonna see that, but to blend it in, I just use like Maybelline or any drugstore mascara will do because these high-end mascaras are like $30. Now for some setting spray. This setting spray. Oh, I have to put on some earrings too. I'm also just gonna spray a little of this in my hair. Just a little bit because I don't want it to be crunchy. Um, but I also want it to like still hold its cheek. I really just love short, cute hairstyles, especially in Ghana because it's really hot. And I hate hair down my back when I'm hot. I just feel like it's, it feels like a radiator back there. So the shorter, the better. I actually got a pixie cut when I came um, last year, I think November, no, two years ago. I don't know, I got a pixie cut. Um, it was cute, but I don't want to keep curling my hair, so after my hair grew out, I just stopped rocking it. But this is the final look. Now I just need to get dressed and get ready to celebrate in the also, let me know if you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Let me know what you would like to see more of. I enjoy filming these, but I feel like, I don't know, I always feel like people don't really care about what I use or whatever. Um, but I definitely want to do more of these because it's fun. Like, I like makeup and hair and all the girly stuff. Um, so yeah, let me know. This is my man clone perfume that Melissa got me. And I don't know how to explain it, but it just smells like me. It smells so good. I love man clone in general, especially their mascara. Man clone anything, their mascara, their night cream, their serum. <laughs> and get you a bacon, egg, and cheese because it's pretty early. We're stopping by um, Brush's father's place to visit because he's in Ghana and can't really find any breakfast in the traffic. So I'm gonna have to figure it out, but yeah. Isn't it 
isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Huh? Can't see. I mean, I said you can't see. You can't hear properly. Mm -hmm. You know why, right? Because we just drove down from the mountain. That's yeah, my ear is so funny. Yeah, just like you on a plane. It's raining. Where are we? Where is this? Ayarafa. Ayarafa. The people that sell stuff on yeah. their heads, they still walk around in this ring? They are selling, baby. You wanna see hustling? You think your life is hard in America? Look at this. And be grateful for the little you got. Alright, do you stand in the rain and sell stuff on your head? You don't. But you we we know for back to back for me and back on why? That be we bank no. Uh like a back here, preferable back. Uh-huh. What the hell? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, so y'all know I was feeding to get a juicer so I can make wellness shots because the ingredients that you need to make it is super affordable here and it's really good for you. So why not? So I have my lemons and these are from Malcolm. That's why they look more like American lemons. Um, and then these are oranges and this is ginger, of course. And this um, orange looks a lot different than the orange, the oranges from the States. I remember when I first came to Ghana and Rush bought oranges, he asked me like, how come you never eat the oranges? I'm like, those are oranges? <laughs> like I thought they went bad or something. Like it looks a lot different than what I'm used to, but it's so good. Like it tastes so much better. It's like the perfect balance of sweet and sour and super juicy. So yeah. So I'm just going to assemble the juicer because it has so many parts and then cut this up and juice it and then pour it into the little shot glasses. <laughs> The light went out again. This is the third time this week. So at this point, like, we're just gonna change the settings for our solar system so that we can reserve, reserve more battery so that when the light goes out, we're still fine because we don't know what's going on in our area, but it's been pretty bad. Like, this is unusual because it never used to be like this. <sighs> so yeah, when the light goes out in Ghana, it's not the whole of Ghana, it's just like a particular area. Um, but like I said, this is not the norm for where we live, but you always gotta expect the unexpected in Ghana. So unfortunately the solar did not save us tonight because we were using the big AC. So by the time we realized that the ECG had cut it off, we had already ran out of solar battery. So we're sitting here in the dark. I'm in Rush office editing while trying to edit with the little battery that I have left. And I think my phone is on like 60 or something, but it's pretty late, so we're gonna go to sleep soon anyways. Yeah. 
traffic can get really bad out here so we definitely have to plan around traffic times um i mean there's always going to be traffic but the worst times are when people are either going to work or coming back from work so when we're going into the city we'll go really early so that we can come back early or just come back like way later on after the rush hour so today we were supposed to go see a friend um but that didn't happen so it's too early to go home so we're gonna grab some yogurt to waste some time and then hopefully the traffic will get better so that we don't have to sit in traffic for hours just to get home so I just got this in the traffic. I don't even know how I ended up with this, but you gotta be careful in kind of traffic because people be out here selling stuff. And if you show the slightest bit of interest, like if you make eye contact, they're gonna run down on you and they will not back off. They will hop in your car if they can, okay? But I got this, I got this cause I was like, let me support, you know, let me support the locals and I do, need massages very often so why not cheers if you made it to the end of this vlog please don't forget to like 